Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you some basic techniques to uh, clean your transcription or sound effect from a comic page. So normally, if you use Photoshop and you have the sound effect right here, what you have to do is you remove the, this shape from the image and then redraw the scene behind it, which can be very time consuming. And on Studio, you have a tool called Patch that you can find here. Here, the Add Patch tool, or you can press P on your keyboard to activate the patch mode. What it does is basically it combines the two-step cleaning and redrawing into the same. Um, I'm going to show you how to remove the sound effect as if it was never here. So I'm going to press P on my keyboard. And here you can find the patch tool floating around. You can move it by holding this handle. So there are two ways that I can remove the sound effect. The first one is to draw a polygon around the shape that I want to remove. And then I'm going to ask Studio to do in painting, which is basically to redraw the scene behind it. Or I can choose the object selection, which can be easier by drawing just a rectangle around the shape that I want to remove. So I'm going to show you the easy way first, which is the object selection. So I'm going to click here or press O on my keyboard to activate it. And now I'm going to just uh, draw an estimated rectangle around my sound effect. So as you can see, Studio already detected the entire thing for me. Under here, here's the tricky part. You have adjustment, expand, or contract. So what are these two things? So basically, expand means that it's going to create a bigger shape, a little bit bigger than my selection here, so that it knows that it should take the pixel from outside of the sound effect to redraw the scene behind it. So for sound effects that are on a, a background like this, on a complex background like this, I want to expand my selection by around like from 10 to 20 pixels so that it can precisely redraw the behind. But if I have a bubble like this one, then I want to contract it a little bit so that it doesn't remove the, the outline of the bubble altogether. So I'm going to stick with expand for this one, 10 pixel, and I'm going to choose the fill mode in painting. So you can also choose color. If you have a solid shape like this, which is only white, then you can choose the color white to uh, fill into your bubble after you clean it. But here I'm going to choose in painting. And I'm going to hit Create or press Enter on my keyboard. So as you can see, the sound effect is now gone. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the other way. But first, now if you want to remove a patch that you already created, then how do you do it? If I want to remove that patch, then I can press S on my keyboard. Or I can click here and here under the, the arrow tool right here. You can, you can choose the tool Select Patch. So as you can see, the patch that I created is here. And it's already selected, so I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to hit Delete on my keyboard. So now it's back. So I'm going to show you the other way using the Polygon tool. So if I press P again and click here, now I can draw a polygon around this one. So please note that uh, you want to use Polygon when um, your sound effect is overlapping with details that I don't want them to be blurred or smudge when Studio is doing in painting. And so you have to draw a very precise shape around your sound effect to remove it. So I'm going to do it here. I'm going to create one point after another. If in the middle you make a mistake like, like this, then you can click on that point that you just created to remove it and then continue drawing more points. So if you see that um, there is a, a circle, a small circle appear on your polygon tool, it means that it has, has met the original point, And then you can click to close the shape like this. And here I don't want to expand because I want it to keep the exact shape that I just drew. And I also choose in painting. And now I hit create. So here you are. Now you have the sound effect completely removed from the scene. And uh, that's it for creating uh, basic patches on Inker Studio. If you have further questions, then please drop a comment below so that we can address them in later videos. Thank you.